Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Russian Fishing 4. So last episode, we just tried out the tutorial. I'm just going to basically spend the day while fishing. It is a fishing game. And just see if we can get up to, like, level 2 and see if as we progress through and we get a hang of, like, how things are supposed to play out, we'll get introduced to a lot more mechanics, because there's a lot the game did not even hint towards in the tutorial. Like, we'll try getting a fish or two in, and then I'll go into, like, some of the stuff that it, it like, skipped right over for us. No! Oh, a Chinese sleeper! And we can, we've now reached level two! No! Oh. And we got a new gift! Okay, actually, I wanna go and see, because I thought... I think the Chinese sleeper was something from the cafe for an order. Let me check. Oh, okay, I need to get three of them. Then I could possibly get that. Okay. Well, I got one with this, so we can keep trying there. But yeah, like, if I go to escape and I go into stuff like uh, crafting, you can see all the different baits you might be able to put together and make. Like, ground baits, recipes in which you can make some items yourself are displayed here. So you've got just regular baits. That just needs a threaded loaf. Okay, recipe. Crafting an item is possible if there are all necessary tools and materials on the backpack. The quality of the crafted item will depend on the level of the player's skill and ability. If the item being crafted has several versions, click or select desired by clicking. You can set a replace tool. After filling, press make. It's like, what all do I have in my backpack then? No, oh, no, I want to go inventory. Yeah, and then this is inventory. You got the rods, the hooks, the lures, baits, floats. Uh, food. I do have the thread loaf, a uh, map, and a landing net. And it looks like there's also campsite and home for storage too. Or house or something. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep trying to get our level a little higher and see how it goes further. See if maybe we can get these uh, couple of Chinese sleepers for that order and fill, fulfill it. I don't think I'd ever go like trying to get a hardcore for it, but it would be nice to try to show off stuff like say trying to find the baits, make lures, things like that if we can. I've certainly never really been one to go for trophy hunting or aiming for tops or tournaments or stuff like that, but if we can even get just like a general overview of what we're of what uh, Russian Fishing 4 has in store. I think that'll be a fairly decent way to just, like, go into what you guys have been suggesting to check out. And we just gotta wait and keep trying to see what we get. Yeah, I still think I would probably stick to using uh, the spin casting. I don't know if I'll ever be able to... Well, again, we'll see how things go if I can get to trying out the bottom fishing. But I think... Uh, yeah, I think that's the new one we unlocked. I keep saying, like, personal record for longest cast, but I thought we've just been doing the same thing over and over. Let's just try to pull this in and see if we got anything. No. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I'll even try going for a little walk around the lake shore. I mean, there are a few boats here. I just don't know if they, like, have any cost to, like, using. And my guess is, uh, considering, like, how the cafe was, where it was locked to, like, premium users, it might be that you have to buy each little region you might go to. I'm not sure yet. Again, I don't want to say anything that sounds like I have confidence. This is all completely new, and I didn't want to look up too much and 
like, spoil myself in a way. This is the completely fresh, genuine, first time playing, getting just to terms with it all. Kind of how I try to do all my series for, like, if it's a completely new game or that. I'll let you guys know if I've covered it or played it before, and if I have prior knowledge or not, something. Seems like this isn't exactly working too well, is it? Right, I'm gonna switch us back to uh, one of the previous baits I was using. Um, yeah, this one was what we got the sleeper with, so maybe we'll just try it. Nothing on that one. I also don't know if I should maybe let the, uh... Maybe I'll let the lure sink for a while. Before I close the reel up. I can't really tell if it is taking any more... I don't think it is taking line out. I think... No. Nope. Not sure if that was actually something on or not. Well, it seemed like for whatever reason there was a little bit of tension there. Let's just pull in and see what we got, if anything. No, nothing there. Um, uh, where else should I try? Okay, now let's put you away so we don't have that flopping all over the place as we're going. Eh, maybe I'll try from here. And try out this way. Out you go. Nothing really coming on this one, though. That was our first cast. We'll try a few more and see if anything does respond to it. Nothing on that one. I'll try one more. Try three on each cast, and, or three casts on each uh, lure setup and see what, if anything, responds to. Okay, let me try switching that for the first one we've been using. See if we get anything on this.
Oh, there we go. Actually, got some size to this one. Nope. Rag is cut off by fish teeth. And I think that does mean... Yeah, I think that is exactly how it goes, so... It looks... I actually... Um, okay, description, rig. So I need to check and see, because that, the fish we were, oh, here we go. Uh, no classic leader. Okay, well, that it says that's optional. But I think that was, we just lost our uh, piece of gear. Because, yeah, that doesn't seem to be possible to be picked up anymore. So at least I know the type of lure that did work. It's just that I'll have to go and try to buy a new one. Yeah, maybe I'll do that and then that way we can just sell the one fish we've got. It's like nothing has been responding to uh, the couple of things I've been trying all episode yet. So let's just head up to the fish market here. Yeah, so it looks like slowly they're... Ah. Uh, their freshness or their condition goes down as long as you keep them. Uh... Grocery store or hardware store? Let me check the grocery store first, though. I don't think... No, no, I think I need hardware. Or is this fishing? Tackle store. That's it. Okay, let's see. Uh, float fishing start. Rods. Um, okay, that's a lot of rods. That's a massive number of rods. Uh, reels. Lines, hooks, lures. I think that's what we're using, the Express Fishing fur Furry? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we were using. I don't think we're, we were using anything way down this low. Oh, although they do have uh, crankbaits and stuff like that. Well, I guess it's kind of expected. That is a pretty basic thing. Although, hang on. Oh, okay, no, the green means I guess that's in your pack. So now I think if I go inventory and go here... There we go. Okay. So it's not too hard to set yourself up again if you do have, like, a fish breaks your line. You just have to hope you get lucky and catch more fish than the costs is. No, I could just do that. Yeah, so you can't have, like, easy multiple rod setups already assigned. Okay, let's toss her it out. And just keep trying for a little bit longer. I'm going to just give it a moment or two to possibly sink or that before I close the reel and start bringing it in. Yeah, I think that little flick of tension is just... is basically just uh, starting to bring in. I wonder if it might even be we've kind of fished this area out. I 
Since, yeah, we haven't had anything trying to strike this for a while now. Well, that's the case. I can always try going further around the lake shore and see. Maybe we'll try one more cast out, and if nothing does respond to it, or even if something does respond, we'll try changing locations. Okay, let me put that away. And yeah, I'm going to go for a walk and see if I can find another spot to try fishing at. So, oh yeah, you basically do seem to be able to have, like, free roam towards... Oh! Located forest camp. As, do they mean that over there? I hear a... No, now I don't. I was going to say, there is the dog barking, but I'm wondering, is that why we have health? We might get chased by certain things on the edges of the lake? Okay, well, let's just cast out and see if we can get anything. There we go. Oh, we had something. I think I pulled the line right out of its mouth. Gotta remember that you don't really set the hook. It basically just kind of sets itself, I think. Actually, I should just take a quick look from the inventory. This does... Yeah, it looks like it should have a hook on it already. So I don't think I have to attach one myself to it. I'll just try for a couple more minutes or so. And the dog is back. Oh, I didn't think I cast it over to the right like that. Maybe the wind caught it. Although, I guess it is getting pretty late. It's close to 10.30 now. Jeez, nothing's striking. I guess maybe there was the one fish, but... No? Okay. Well, we do have a little flashlight for trying to keep fishing in the dark. Oh, maybe that's what that little, that bottom-most bar is. That's like our flat, our flashlight's power. Oh, I spotted something go rushing by there. Uh, maybe I'll try close to the... Yeah, there's a fair bit of, like, uh, wind almost throwing our line to the right. But I have had no interest for, like, quite a while now. I don't think we've even landed a single fish the entire episode, or even had... Well, we did have one, I think, on the line. Yeah, now nothing. Uh, I guess let me try more over this way and see. Oh, 
No, oh, touching bottom. Okay, so... No. Ah, uh, there might be something on there. Yeah, there is. Looks like just another perch. Let's just bring you in. Or maybe it's a roach. No, it's a perch. Okay, well, we'll keep you. Yeah, so it looks like all the information about, like, where your uh, lure and that is going to be is going to be along the bottom there. So it'll tell you stuff probably like touching bottom or maybe a little bit of other trivia. Or, well, not trivia, but information you can work with, too. Actually, it looks like... I think those are a couple of fish I can see kind of, like, centered there now. I can try casting over towards them and see if maybe we can get their interest. Some interesting bird sounds. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get their attention. I don't think I'm going to be able to cast out quite far. Nope. I didn't even realize we had one on. Okay, looks like just a perch. Yeah. Just another little perch. And we'll try another cast out. See if we can get one more fish before we end this episode. Actually, that's... Doesn't say it's touching bottom. I guess maybe it got... Hit something? Yeah, nothing seems to be interested in this go. We'll try one more cast, I'll sell what fish I've got, and then we'll end our first, or our second episode of Russian Fishing for here. It'll be the end of our first weekend with it. No, actually, maybe that's not a fish. That's just a reflection. Okay, I thought that was like maybe a fish just under the surface there, but... No, that's just a reflection. I think that one star out there. Or a planet or whatever it is. Yeah, nothing there. Okay, well, we'll at least sell the bit of perch we've got. And we'll see what our big earnings have been from the weekend so far. Yeah, so we got two more perch. We sell those for eight cents. And we're now at 52.56. We made a whopping $2.56 in profit. Again, we're just starting out. There's a lot to get into that I didn't really get mentioned in the tutorials at all, like the bait finding, crafting, etc. So there's going to be a lot we'll slowly try to show off a little bit of in the series and just try out more of the mechanics there. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Russian Fishing 4. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give us a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure in the comments right down below. Until I do see you in the next video, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.